Now to campaign 2020, and this week, Sabrina Fulton announced her candidacy for Miami-Dade County Commission. She's running for the District 1 seat that's being vacated by longtime Commissioner Barbara Jordan. Fulton is the mother of Trayvon Martin, the unarmed teen who was shot dead by a neighborhood watch volunteer in 2012. She says she wants to build on her years of activism in the wake of her son's death by affecting change in her community. CBS 4's Jim DeFitti spoke to Fulton this week and began their conversation by asking her what qualifies her for the position. I have 24 years with Miami-Dade County in different departments. I started off with GSA. I went on to uh, Solid Waste, and I went on to the airport. I did a little work in transit, and lastly, I worked in the housing agency. So I have years of experience um, in Miami-Dade County as an employee. And so I just felt that this was my next level of government. Um, I didn't see myself in a state seat. I didn't see myself anywhere else. I saw myself putting myself back into the county. So. Give me your assessment. Is county, is Miami-Dade County being run well? Well, there are some things that are going right with Miami-Dade County, and there are some things that can be improved. One of the main things that I want to focus on is crime. And um, I, have a, I have spoken to a lot of people, and one of the things that they say is they don't feel safe in their community. They don't feel safe going to the store, the gas station. They don't feel safe going to the ATM machine. And I feel that same way. And I feel like I can definitely make change in the, those areas of crime and crime prevention. I definitely want to work with law enforcement so that we can bridge the gap between law enforcement and the community. And I think it's some areas that I see that I definitely want to work on and I definitely want to try to make change. You believe that this is something that Trayvon would want you to do? Absolutely. Um, when I made my announcement on Monday, I had my oldest son, Javaris Fulton, he was here. And um, I had him standing next to me. That's my right hand man. And he's very, very proud of me. And so I, I believe that Trayvon would have been proud of me as well. So let me ask you the, the hardest, probably the rudest question. So I'll even apologize in advance. Does raising your, does, does basically rising up in prominence because your son was shot and killed qualify you to be a county commissioner? No, that does not qualify me to be a county commissioner, but I can tell you what does. Um, my 24 years in county service, um, I have leverage. I know what the county employees go through because I was one of those people for 24 years, and that's not, you know, just a short period of time. That's a long period of time to be with one company, one organization for 24 years. So I did my time in county service as an employee. Now I want to do my time in county service as a servant, as, as, as a politician because I think that working from the inside out, that was one thing. Now I want to work for the residents. I want to work for the citizens. I want to show that um, I have leadership skills. I have experience. I may not have experience in as a politician because I'm not a career politician. And that may be what the residents need. They need fresh new ideas. They need fresh new vision. They need change. And a lot of people are, are see the same thing happening in their community day in and day out. I don't want to turn on the TV and every single time I turn on the TV and I watch your station sometimes and you report it so you know firsthand what we go through in that particular community. And I just want to make sure that people are living in a safe and decent environment and right now we're not we're scared you your family you've lived in Miami Gardens area for how long for, for 50 plus years 50 plus years mm -hmm. uh, have you so Miami Gardens is your home have you voted for the current mayor who you'll be now running against Oliver Gilbert is the current mayor of, of Miami Gardens he's also announced to run for this seat when when he came up for uh, for election in the past have you voted for him I don't remember who I voted for and I'm just gonna leave it like that but yes well, has he been, let me phrase it this way then has he been a good mayor in your opinion <sighs> I don't want to answer that okay okay um, but I will answer the fact that I am from the community I mean I was born and raised in the community um, my great-grandmother lived in the community my grandmother my mother currently lives there in the area I have several family member that live in the area I live in the area I went to school um, from elementary middle school high school and also college I graduated from Florida Memorial University so I'm very familiar with the dynamics of the area and so I will say that and you can watch Jim's entire interview with Sabrina Fulton this Sunday on Facing South Florida right here on CBS4.